What do the planets in our solar system really look like up close? You'd either need a high-powered telescope or photographs from these telescopes to find out. Another wonderful resource for seeing our planets up close can be found at the Gallery of Planetary Images at nasa.gov. This project is well suited for the dramatic effects of drip painting, a form of abstract art called action painting. Jackson Pollock is the most famous of these artists and is known for his huge canvases, which he worked on while they were on the floor of his studio. Pollock dripped paint from large brushes and also buckets while he moved energetically above the canvas. Each student can choose to model the craters of the moon, the banding of Jupiter, the cold, desert-like surface of Mars, or the icy surface of Neptune. The round surface can be turned in various ways to influence the flow of the paint. Hills, valleys, and craters can be added with modeling paste to allow even more control as the paint drips over the bumpy surface. Create a poured paint galaxy for the classroom. Begin by deciding what planet to represent in a drip. After making a choice, choose a surface to use. We can make a clay base for our planet, but a round birch panel works well too. To make a clay disc, evenly roll out about a pound of stoneware clay onto a canvas covered work surface. Roll a slab about a half inch thick. Cut a five inch diameter circle out of the clay using a needle tool. You're going to slump the circle of clay onto a round surface such as a styrofoam ball. After coaxing the clay into a half sphere, carefully remove it and bisque fire to cone 04. After the clay has been fired, if an uneven surface and or craters are desired, apply either light modeling, crackle paste, or a combination of the two onto the round surface using a palette knife. I'm going to use a combination of the two. I'm gonna mix these together really well. Okay, I'm now I'm going to apply it to my clay surface. Allow the medium to dry on the surface before painting. Mix various combinations of pouring paints in small containers. Mix one teaspoon of pouring medium with a bit of water and add paints or other mediums to create a fluid flowing consistency. Blick liquid watercolors require less water in the mix than acrylics. Experiment by adding watercolors, acrylic paints, and specialty paints such as metallic, pearlescent, or glitter mediums, and refill as needed. Placing the round surface on a foam tray, Pour small amounts of the paint mixtures onto the circular shape. I'm going to put some gloves on because this can get a little messy. Pour small amounts of the paint mixtures onto the circular surface using a spoon or pipette to move into desired areas. Add more paint in various colors where needed. You can tilt and rotate the surface to allow the paint to move into different areas. When you think your planet is complete, remove it from the tray and allow it to dry. Paint trays can be used many times, and if the poured painting doesn't turn out quite right, rinse or let dry and pour again. For more information, a complete materials list, and teaching standards for this project, visit dickblick.com slash lessonplans.